Hi, uh, so today marks the first of week 15. Um, it's been a really crazy couple of days. Um, I've had a day, like I think it was um, Wednesday, and I was at work and the whole afternoon was really weird and ratty. Um, and it was kind of like I had energy, but I was sitting in front of a computer, so it was, you know, like, what do I do with this energy kind of fidgety kind of feeling. It was really irritating. <laughs> um, so I had a little bit of energy um, in the evening, which was great, because then I could cook, and I made some brownies, and that was fun, and I had brownies to eat for the rest of the week. They have now gone. Pimple to prove it. Um, but yesterday after, well... Yesterday, for most of the day, it might have been because it was such a horribly, horribly gloomy day, but I had no energy. Well, um, yeah, I, don't, I can't explain it. It's like energy comes and goes. My my kind of spark, my upbeatedness kind of comes and goes. Um, in You know, I ended up leaving work a little bit earlier because I was just feeling really rough. Um... And then today um, we had a beautiful, blue, beautiful day, blue sky, not too hot, and I was fine all day. I was really upbeat. I was feeling okay. I had a little bit of energy. Um, you know, same amount of food, slightly, you know, different food, but so it's just really confusing. Um, energy is up and down. I guess it's kind of it can't just come in. Maybe <laughs> just come back. It's kind of coming back, but. Um, in little bursts. So I kind of got into a false sense of security and kind of went a little, um, yeah, I ended up sleeping a lot yesterday. Um, I really feel like I've got um, a little belly now. Um, I'm not sure if this is going to work, but so at work, actually, I suck in my belly a lot. I'm kind of walking around like this. But at home, <laughs> it comes out a lot. When I'm at home, I'm relaxed. But um, you should be... Um, I was reading week 15, you should start being able to um, feel what you, what they call the fundus or the fundus. Um, <clears throat> basically, the, your uterus, you should be able to feel. And I can feel this little... Bloop, you know, just here, just kind of feel this little, I guess from the, because you measure from your pubic bone to your um, belly button, you should be able to feel that, and I kind of, I was lying down last night, it was kind of freaky, I was lying down last night, and I was feeling this little bloop, <laughs> I mean, I don't have a bump, like a bump, but I've got this little, you know, it's so to find, it's not like this little patch of fat or anything, it's this little bloop. Um... And, you know, more and more people are kind of, well, I went out to the movies with my dad and he was saying how, oh yeah, I can see you've got a little bit of a bump. And I'm like, oh, it's just fluid. Um, I'm finding more when people kind of notice that I've got some sort of a little bump. I feel really a little bit self-conscious of it. I'm really, I still suck in my belly a lot at work. Um, not, I haven't personally told everyone. But I'm sure there's a few people who are really highly suspicious or just know. Um, but, see, the thing is with pregnancy, I know, is that um, if you've had any, you know, problems with anxiety and depression in the past, they can kind of creep back up because um, you've got all these hormones that are um, surging around. And my thing was... You know, standard teenage body image. Um, you know, I've always had a fairly same size, same shape. Um, um, you know, I don't think, you know, on reflection, I didn't do enough exercise through high school. I could have done more. I was really self-conscious and... I hated the idea of growing up. I thought it kind of sucked. Um, uh, and, yeah, body image was something that I wasn't overly concerned about, especially not to the degree that girls um, 
focusing on these days. I never had any kind of an eating disorder at all. I never dieted or anything. You know, I was just con concerned about my like my inner thighs or you know how I looked in in bike shorts. You know, I didn't particularly like that or you know I was I was a pretty conservative girl, so I never really wore. I don't know. So I've had little, very normal um, uh, body image issues that I I think most girls go through, um, and I put it down to the fact that I just didn't do a lot of exercise. But I'm feeling that kind of creeping back because the fact that I really disliked the fact that my body changed. I thought it was really crap. <laughs> um, you know, I couldn't imagine living in a world like like we are today where girls are, um, you know, some feel like maybe forced or really encouraged or driven to um, dress and act beyond their age and it scares the bejesus up. Uh, 